For this outfit, what we're doing is we're putting on a short sleeve light blue polo shirt. This polo shirt exactly, I happen to have two of them from Collars & Co. And wearing a nice medium gray V-neck sweater over that polo shirt while keeping the Levi's 511s and the Cole Haan Original Grand brown and white shoes exactly the same. Now layering the thin sweater over the polo shirt is going to give you a more three-dimensional look and it's also going to be super helpful if the day starts out super cold or super cool rather but then the afternoon temperatures reach up to the low or mid 70s you're going to be able to shed that sweater but still look good since you're wearing that awesome polo shirt. And now if the temperatures rise unexpectedly, you're still gonna be a lot more comfortable. You're not gonna overheat in a long sleeve shirt or that sweater, but you're still gonna look absolutely amazing if you got a nice fitted polo. Staying with the light blue polo shirt, threw on a navy blue merino wool v-neck sweater, nice, thin, lightweight, but warm. Back to the khaki colored chinos, but also instead of those Cole Hans, threw on some Allen Edmonds Dalton wingtip dress boots. Now, if you look at the outfit we talked about, that gray sweater with the jeans and the polo underneath, this is the same concept. However, we just switched the colors around a bit. Instead of wearing navy blue pants, the jeans, we're actually wearing a navy blue top, but the khaki colored jeans. This coloring is gonna make it a lot more appropriate for a holiday party, an after work get together, since it definitely does look a bit more dressy and a bit more preppy if you would not that i really consider myself preppy at all some of you might but the navy blue sweater on top of the light blue polo shirt and the khakis on the bottom are going to look absolutely amazing on just about anyone another great option that's definitely very popular and i used to do all the time is wearing a long sleeve dress shirt or oxford shirt underneath the merino wool v-neck sweater now what this is going to do is number one it's going to keep you warmer but number two it is going to show some of that shirt cuffs over here which is not as essential when you're wearing a sweater it's more essential when you're wearing a suit or sport coat it still is going to look a little bit more stylish than just showing no shirt sleeves like i'm showing right now because my shirt sleeves are all the way up here they short sleeve shirt ends right here but i would urge you to try to wear the polo shirt underneath the sweater instead of that long sleeve shirt just because especially in the warmer fall months the early fall months it's going to be a little bit easier since you're going to be able to shed that sweater like you saw and just wear the short sleeve polo instead of having the long sleeve and having to roll it up that can even be a bit too hot when the temperatures rise and it's also going to be a lot easier to throw the sweater on and off shed that sweater make it a bit more casual a bit easier to wear on those warmer days just with that light blue polo shirt that fits you properly. But it's still gonna have you looking like an absolute boss. Throw on a nice medium navy sport coat over that outfit, the light blue Oxford shirt with the khaki colored five pocket pants and the Allen Edmonds dress boots. And the reason why this outfit is so good is just because it is super dressy compared to all the other outfits that we talked about. The only thing we could do to really dress it up more is put on some nicer pants and nicer shoes, maybe a long sleeve dress shirt or go with a full suit. And while those outfits are gonna be a lot more better for formal situations, you do lose out on a lot of the versatility. Since you saw this outfit, all we did compared to outfit number nine, Nine is throw on that navy sport coat. Meaning if it gets too hot, if you feel like you're overdressed or you just wanna take your jacket off, there you go, boom, super easy. The rest of the outfit still looks really good. It can stand on its own and the sport coat completes it. Whereas if you try to do this with a full suit with a dress shirt and tie, it's always gonna look incomplete unless you're wearing that jacket. A bit of a bonus outfit here, what you could also do to make this outfit look a lot more interesting, just add that navy blue merino v-neck sweater over the polo shirt and underneath the sport coat. So this is really gonna set you apart from a lot of other guys out there that are just wearing the basic dress shirt, dress pants, and sport coat, or just the full suit. Layering a sweater underneath the sport coat is going to give the outfit so much more of a three-dimensional feel versus just that dress shirt look with a jacket over it. Now you might be asking, why don't you just wear a long sleeve Oxford shirt since now I do have on a long sleeve sweater. My reason for that is you just get so much better of a look, so much more of a three-dimensional look with this outfit. And it does keep you warmer for those cooler mornings. But also if the temperatures do rise unexpectedly in the afternoon, you can shed that sweater and you still get to wear that sport coat, which is gonna give you a much more formal look without overheating and sweating like crazy, which is not gonna be as easy to do if you're wearing a long sleeve Oxford shirt or even a long sleeve dress shirt. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked any of these outfits and let me know what you would wear. I definitely want to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching.